Everybody knows about the iPhone, iPad, and Apple, the company behind the two products. Thanks to high build quality and passionate fans, the Apple brand has become known globally and even associated with luxury and high class. However, not as many people know that Apple is working on a car, but that does not stop the company from development, and now Apple is ready to reveal its all-new car, which shocks the entire car industry. Apple is the largest company in the world by market capitalization. This is not surprising as the company keeps reporting highly successful financial quarters with billions in profit and revenue. For example, during the last quarter, Apple reported almost $100 billion in revenue, with a profit of $25 billion. The iPhone alone brought $50 billion in the first three months of the year, while the Mac line took in over $10 billion. Apple sits on hundreds of billions of dollars held in reserve, more than most other companies. Apple has been known to dabble in other businesses apart from the core ones. For example, Apple makes AirPods and MagSafe power banks for topping up the iPhone's batteries. However, Apple does not restrict itself to accessories for its main products. For example, Apple is also rumored to be working on augmented reality and virtual reality products. But the most daring of all non-core projects by Apple is the car it's working on. Making an iPhone is a far simpler task than making a car. But as a courageous company with lots of cash to play around with, Apple can do just whatever it likes, including developing a car. And as you can expect from any product made by Apple, the car is very sleek and full of the best tech you can ask for. Since 2014, under the secretive project codenamed Titan, Apple has been working on the Apple car. Conjectures and vague, unconfirmed details about the vehicle have only fueled the imagination. In fact, this is one of the most closely guarded secrets within the company. In the early stages of development, Apple planned to develop the car independently, without input from companies in the automotive industry. However, to work around a series of problems and limitations, the firm decided to collaborate with an automaker. There are indications that we are not far from a launch, as Apple representatives have been meeting with many producers for various electric vehicle parts, such as battery makers and car manufacturers. For example, Apple executives traveled to Asia last September to meet officials of Toyota and discuss a potential partnership. Other reports show that Apple reps met with South Korea's SK Group and LG Electronics last August. Of course, you know that means Apple is trying to lock down battery supply. Also, Apple has been quietly swiping top Tesla executives over the last few years, a sure sign that something is brewing in Apple's automotive department. Yet another indication is Apple hiring Ulrich Kranz last year to lead its electric car project. Kranz is a big name in the auto industry. He is a former BMW executive with ties to the German automobile maker's electric vehicle models i3 and i8. Now, the all-new Apple car is going to compete with the rest in autonomous driving. Self-driving is the latest must-have tech in cars. Apple has permits from the California DMV to test cars with autonomous technology and patents for a system and method for operating an autonomous vehicle. The new Apple may even have an option not to come with a steering wheel, which is reminiscent of Elon Musk's plan for the Model 2. The CEO has said the cheap Tesla car might lack a steering wheel or pedals and be used for drive hailing. It'll be interesting to see the two great companies compete in that aspect. Cars these days run on their own operating system, and the Apple car is not an exception. The question fans are asking is which OS the new Apple car will use. The Apple car is equipped with a custom-made car OS, similar to the one used by Tesla, a centrally integrated operating system, according to the latest report by the influential DigiTimes Media. Apple is developing a software platform that can control every aspect of a car's function. That is just like Tesla, which runs a custom version of Linux powered by an Intel Atom processor. The central control unit handles navigation, entertainment, cameras, and more. Given that the Apple car is a rival to Tesla, it wouldn't be a surprise if Apple adopted a similar type of operating system controlled experience. This operating system will work to enhance the navigation features, entertainment and informative features, and also the sensors that help with data processing. The company currently offers CarPlay software to various vehicles, but is limited to navigation and media playing capabilities, but we expect the software that will run a car made by Apple to be very sophisticated. According to the report by DigiTimes, their car OS will be powered by none other than the powerhouse M1 SoC, or System on Chip. The neural processing unit will help analyze road conditions along with driver input. According to the supply chain sources, Apple is planning to develop a domain control unit DCU with the help of a Korean-based company. 
The DCU should also house the self-driving sensor of the rumored Apple car. It's safe to assume that the software platform would also use a large central dashboard screen like current Tesla cars. Tesla cars sport a company-owned software which fills up the dashboards on its vehicles with screens. Dashboards on Tesla's electric vehicles are dominated by the display, and they don't offer anything in the way of physical buttons or dials, but it comes as the functions of the vehicle are accessible through its several displays, which is possible thanks to Tesla's software platform. So what does the Apple car look like? We are talking about a sleek design here since we know what the company is capable of, and thanks to concepts, we can imagine what the all-new Apple car looks like. Let's jump right into the details. Based on the patents already filed by Apple relating to its car efforts, designers have been able to construct the Apple car. It looks similar to Inspector Gadget's car, a mashup between a hatchback, a crossover, and a van. Apple's Siri is integrated into the steering wheel, which has a rotating screen. The cabin looks very spacious and comfortable, thanks to the large glass surfaces. The dashboard is made up of a single large screen that responds to touch, which is how you access the controls or settings. This is similar to Mercedes-Benz EQS sedan, which has a massive wall-to-wall -wall hyperscreen. You'll be able to install apps from the App Store, although you'll mostly be able to use them when the car is parked off the road. Likewise, following the map on such a large screen is a breeze, as it can stretch across the screen area. Apple has been adding more details to more cities in North America, including landmarks, so you will find it hard to lose your way inside this car. However, for entertainment purposes, you can watch movies or play games on the huge screen inside the cabin, just like you can do on the touchscreen console inside Tesla cars. When it comes to the audio experience, Apple is not skimping as the new Apple car uses premium audio from the top speaker manufacturers, with careful tuning to match the shape of the cabin. According to Leaks Apple Pro, which has established a solid track record on Apple predictions, the Apple car could enter mass production very soon. Apple has huge plans for its cars, and industry experts agree Apple may sell about 1.5 million units by 2030. Of course, Apple will sell its cars as fast as it can make them, thanks to the legions of fans it has around the world and many more others who trust the brand. According to industry sources, Apple will try to position the Apple car at the luxury end of the EV market that commands prices of $100,000 and above. But that is not surprising, as there are electric vehicles in that price range already. For example, the Tesla Model S is in that price range. The GMC Hummer EV also has a trim that starts above $100,000. Even Lucid has the Air Dream Edition, which starts at over $160,000. As to the novelties Apple may be planning to bring to the EV mix, these include increased use of premium metal materials like titanium, as well as a keyless entry via the iPhone. Apple already has its car key option that works with certain BMW, Genesis, Kia, and other vehicles right now, so it makes sense that it will try to keep its walled garden intact in the EV realm as well. Apple has not released details of the driving range.